In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your two flat serpentine belt idler pulleys. These are the ones that have no ribs on them on this Ford F-150 with the 5.4 liter engine. Let's get started. We first have to remove this air intake so that we can have more space to work here. To do this, you can just lift it up over here, pull sideways, pull the other way, and it'll pop out of the air filter housing. And you can either set it aside like that. This is optional, but I will do it mostly for video purposes. I'm gonna remove this bracket that holds the upper radiator hose. You can see the mounting nut right here, it's just a 13 millimeter. And this will make it so that we can actually move this radiator hose out of the way and this bracket won't be directly in the way because the tensioner is right down there. And when we put the breaker bar or ratchet on it, it's most likely going to want to swing over here. So again, optional, you can go about doing it without removing this, but I will. Another bracket that sits on here, take that off, set it aside, and take this off as well. And like I said, now we can freely move the radiator hose around, and there's no bracket in our way, except for this little one, but it also moves around. If you look right down here by the tensioner, you'll see that it has a half inch drive on the end of it. So I'm gonna use a long half inch drive ratchet. You can use a breaker bar or a serpentine belt tool if you have one that's half inch drive. Stick it in here and release tension off of the tensioner. I'm going to unplug this connector here. This is for the electronic fan clutch because it's kind of in my way. I'm gonna put this side of the harness up here, tuck it out of the way, and then this side can just hang out on the fan side. Now I can grab my long ratchet, make sure it's in there, pull down on the tensioner, release tension, remove the belt. That's pretty tight, there we go and slowly let go of the tensioner. Now I can remove my tool. And now we can remove the rest of the belt. You don't have to take the belt completely off for this job, but for me, it does make things easier, so I will. Now just go around and remove the belt. I will provide you with a diagram on the screen when it comes time to reinstall it, so you can figure out the routing. That way you know the routing of the belt but if you want to take a picture of it, couldn't hurt. There it is. This is one of your two flat idler pulleys. Get a 13 millimeter socket. Once you get it seated on there, just break it free. And with it broken free, it should come off by hand. With this bolt removed, grab the pulley. Slide it off, get your new one, slide it on, make sure it seats all the way, and let's put the bolt back in. Before I torque this, I'm gonna do the other one, that way I can torque them both at the same time. The first one we did was on the passenger side, this one's on the driver's side. Same thing, break it free with a 13 millimeter. They have the same hardware, and they are the same pulley, actually. Grab the pulley, take your new pulley, slide it on, make sure it bottoms out and lines up easily. Put in the mounting bolt, bottom it out, and then we'll torque both this one and the other one. 18 foot-pounds is the torque for both this one and the first one we replaced. Okay, that's 18 for both. All right, it's time to put the belt on. This is the best view I can give you. I'm gonna try to move the camera around so you can see better but also here's the diagram. I'm going to start on the harmonic balancer because it's going to be the main pulley that drives everything. And the main reason I do that is because it's all the way at the bottom and I wanna work my way bottom to top. I'm gonna to put it around the water pump like this just so it can line up at least. Try to get it in all of those ribs down there. Simultaneously put it around the water pump, it'll help situate it better. Try not to get debris or too much debris on the belt. I can feel that it's seated on the harmonic balancer, so that's great. Now I'm gonna go down in between this idler and the tensioner pulley, so I can put this belt down on the AC compressor. Okay, try to snake it down in there. This is the AC compressor right here. Try to get the belt seated on this AC compressor. Just like that. On the other side, I'm gonna bring it over the water pump. From the water pump, it's gonna to wanna to go underneath this ribbed pulley here. 
and then around the power steering. I don't have it on the alternator yet. And then bring it underneath this. And the last thing is gonna be the alternator right here. But for that, we need to take tension off of the belt. Get your tool in here. Pull the belt up and over. Make sure it's still seated everywhere. Fell off over here. There we go. Let go of it. Remove your tool. Inspect it. And of course, we will re-inspect it after the engine starts. Run it for a couple seconds. Uh, but for now, let's button everything back up because we still have things to reconnect. Let's reconnect the electronic fan clutch. Plug it in. Make sure it clicks. Now put the radiator hose bracket on and then this one for the fan clutch. I'm gonna start the nut on, but I'm not gonna tighten it yet. I'm gonna put the radiator hose into its bracket first so that this can still move around. It'll be a lot easier to slide it in. There we go. Now we can tighten it up. 13 millimeter socket. Nice and snug. Last thing is to put this air intake back, line it up and press it in until it clicks. That's it. Now turn on the truck, double check that belt and take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.